Hi, this is Mike, and I got a great question in the community here recently, and somebody was asking about how can they grant partial credit for a drag and drop question type. So by default, drag and drop questions are they're either all right or they're all wrong. So if we look in the form view here, um, you can see this kind of typical setup for a, a drag and drop a freeform drag and drop question type. But when I go up and look for scoring options, I either get uh, not scoring it at all or only by the entire question, which means I'm not able to, to grant partial credit. So let's say, for instance, what I wanted to do was each of these first three uh, shapes are correct answers and I'd like to give two points for each one that they get correct. So two, four, or six points, depending on how many they have dropped on their target. So one way that we can handle that uh, is to take a look at a question type which can score by answer. So here is a second slide, and it's just a straightforward multiple choice question type. And the advantage of this is I've got the scoring option to score by choice. And I've already gone ahead and, and set this up. Um, this is just going to help me grant partial credit. And then the second nice benefit of this is it's going to help me if I need to track this score in an LMS, it's going to help me transfer the correct point value to my LMS for tracking without doing any kind of, of coding or scripting or anything like that. So what I've done here are my answer choices are basically none correct. One correct is going to be worth two points. If they get two of those answers correct, that's going to be four points. And if they get all three, then they're going to get the full credit and six points. So that's kind of what's going on here. and what we need now is a way to take advantage of the drag and drop functionality and combine that with the scoring ability of a regular multiple choice question type. So here's what I did to make that happen. As I just mentioned, I just inserted this as a regular multiple choice question type and set up the partial scoring like we just saw. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my drag and drop interaction right over top of this. So this question is really just going to sit behind my drag and drop activities. And here I've just pasted my drag and drop elements and a background right over top of that multiple choice quiz question. So you can see here if I turn off the background you can see that multiple choice question is, is sitting there back in the back. So my background and my other objects are covering that and that A, it hides them from, from view so it's not confusing and it also prevents your learners from interacting with those questions directly because we don't want that to drive that quiz question, we want the drag and drop functionality to drive this interaction. So how do we combine and tie those two things together? The first thing we want to do is to make sure we have a variable to help us keep track of that partial credit that we want to grant. So we're granting two points for each of the three correct objects when those get dropped on the target. So I've got a number variable here that I've just named points and that's what we're going to use to help us keep track of how many correct answers the learner gets. So we've got that created. Then the next thing we need to do is to set up the triggers for each of those correct objects. And what we've got is an adjust variable trigger that is going to adjust our points variable. And it's just going to add a value of 2 whenever one of those correct objects gets dropped onto the correct target, which is our folder here. So 
you can see here each of those three correct items we've got triggers to add two points for each of those if we preview that real quick we can just check on that to make sure that's doing what we want it to so here we have our variable displayed just so we can kind of peek behind the scenes and we're adding two for each of those correct answers so that is tracking in our variable correctly and the last thing we need to do is translate the value of that variable to the correct response in our multiple choice quiz question so to do that we're going to add a few triggers a few slide triggers and I'm going to change the state of button one so in our multiple choice question button one corresponds to none of those are correct and that's going to grant us zero points so what I want to do is I'm going to change the state of that button to selected and I want to do that as soon as the timeline starts because that's going to be the default response to that question so if they don't get any right um, it's just going to be already be set and they'll get zero points for that so that's just kind of setting the default I'm going to add one more trigger for each of those other answers in our multiple choice question so I'm going to change button 2 which equates to one answer correct change that to selected when our variable changes so our variable is points but only when that variable is equal to a value of 2 remember we're granting two points for each correct answer dropped on the target now I'm going to copy that paste it and now I'll modify that so for button 3 which equates to two answers correct I'm going to change that multiple choice answer to selected and that's going to be when the value of our variable is equal to 4 and then we just need one more for our last option and I'm going to change the value or I'm going to change button 4 to selected when our variable is equal to 6 and that means that all three of those correct objects have been dropped on the target now I, I've turned off the background so we can kind of see these two things functioning together so I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna preview this slide and when it loads you can't see it here but we'll see it in a second that we have set that none correct to be selected from the multiple choice question as the default now I'm going to drag my first correct object here notice my multiple choice question is updating according to how many correct answers I've gotten so far so that's automatically happening and remember the learner won't see any of this stuff because it's going to be back behind the background so that when I submit my answer hey correct I've got all of the correct responses what you'll see if you want to see what happens if it's just a partial partially correct so I've changed the feedback to say you did not select all of the correct responses and the best part of this if we walk all the way through this from beginning to end let's just do a partial response submit my answer when I get to the result slide this is the big advantage of this now I have granted four points because we got two correct and I'm able to account for what's getting reported to my LMS and I get the best of both worlds I get a drag and drop interaction and I also get the partial credit scoring that I'm looking for so if we go back and take a look at this the way that it will be in its final state we've seen the behind the scenes of what's going on now now I can say I'm just gonna pick two of these correct answers tells me I didn't get all of the correct responses I could customize that feedback to give the learner some indication of how many they got so I could say four out of six that's also an option but 
here we are. When we get to the results slide, I've got my reporting correct. And like we said before, you're getting the best of both worlds. I get the drag and drop interactions and I get the partial scoring from the multiple choice question. So that's how you can score a drag and drop question and grant partial credit in Articulate Storyline.